Pearson in motion, goes back to him. And he is hit immediately. Connected from the same distance last week in a win against the Brahmas. Stay hot, kickers across the UFL. Slow down that wide receiver, quick screen game for St. Louis. Vinny Papali is back. Kickoffs from the 20, anything out of bounds goes to the 50. And here is Papali, Papali following J.J. Wilson down the sideline, and he gets it to about a 45-yard line. They wanted to find ways to get him involved. Crowd has not yet been a factor for Case Cook is. Papali beating the Battlehawks defense and finding the end zone for his third touchdown of the year. This team desperately needed. Well, no backs for Memphis. You see Case Cookus goes left, comes right back, finds 13 Papale on an option route. That option was to either settle in the zone. Pretty invincible to me, huh? A little bit, yeah. All right, guys, thanks, man. Yeah, love you, Ken. Shepard, the Bison, out of North Dakota State, wants a house call. He is going to be pushed out, but it's already a red zone possession because of the most dangerous return man in the UFL. One of the things that makes Darius Shepard so dangerous is he's decisive. He does not dance, he does not hesitate. Sees the crease and you see that burst, he hits it. Very patient with the block to the perimeter there by number 15. That's back-to-back -back series with great field position for both offenses. Eight men at the top of the screen. Going with a little screen over the middle of the field. And is it? It is! Jacob Sailors. Back-to-back -back weeks. Memphis defensively, they thought, they thought Sailors was going to settle in as a pass protector. Conference in all-purpose yards. That's yards from scrimmage combined with its great numbers on returns. This is a short kick and will be fielded by Jonathan Adams, the up back, and Adams is also electric, and that's down to the 45-yard line. And it's loud in the dome. Cook is picked off! LaVard Hill, the Michigan man, with the stiff arm to midfield. Still going, and this place is bizarre. Yawned those numbers these days. McCarron on to Kamari Averitt. And he's hit and stopped by Dre Elder. Goldman with the carry and the touchdown. His first in the United Football League. Had nine of those in the NFL with the Giants. Again, they're going to pull 74 around here. He leads in, and Goldman actually has to take on number 24 there, Dre Elder, because the offensive lineman, number 73, Juwan Bushel Beatty, actually misses the block. McCarron's not ultra mobile, even though he rushed for a touchdown Wait. last week. But does so many things at the line of scrimmage pre snap to help stay clean. So the quick toss there to Blake Jackson, nothing going. Each team has one challenge to use per game, but you must have a timeout remaining to use that challenge, and you can use anything. Biggest opportunity to roll that Darius Victor has had all season long in the loop. Darius Victor with the carry. Oh, he's showing the toughness. Ball comes out, but it's ruled a touchdown. And Darius Victor finds pay dirt for the first time this season. We've got a game inside the dome. Line with possession of the ball. Touchdown. Oh, mercy. That four wide receiver set again, Harry, with 88. He's the inside receiver. Memphis drops back, and the coverage picked off. Quentin Meeks. Meeks to the 30. Cutting it back inside. A little swim move. And Quentin Meeks out of Stanford making the play to get the showboats back in scoring position. Hakeem Butler, if he would have taken him right there in the middle of the field, instead he tries to throw the slant to Aitman, who does not finish the route. A.J. McCarron thought number three Aitman would cross face, finish the route, and ends up getting manhandled there on the route. Credit number seven, Quentin Meeks, and again the momentum for Memphis. Eight field goals entering today 
the most of the UFL to tie. And that will knot us up at 17. For the 47. Former Bama star to Pearson. Pearson to the 30 yard line. Former Lou Groza Award winner as a freshman at Syracuse. Awarded to the top kicker in college football. Back to his old school wins. Darius Victor back at tailback. Had to stand out for his staff. And Cook is goes down. Cannot get back up before Travis Feeney. Tops in the UFL at five yards per carry. And that's a little pitch to Blake Jackson. Tackle for loss made by Jeray Elder. Check down to Victor. Jeez. Brought down. Cookies has it stripped. Jared Thomas falls on it. Got to get the 46 to cover. Third and nine. McCarron handles it like a champ. Akeem Butler to the 15. The Iowa State Cyclone getting up and barking. Empty for AJ. Cool. Collecting. Showing the wheels. The speed that Mama gave him. One on one on the outside. Yep. McCarron looking that way. Pump fakes. Beautiful read to Jake Sutherland. From Memphis, the linebacker in a bind. So what do you do? Do you continue to cover downfield? Or do you come up and do you take A.J. McCarron? McCarron now with seven passing touchdowns all the season, the most of the UFL. And the showboats put the position yet again to come back in the fourth quarter, which has been problematic for this team. Titus Swin. Good spark on the return. He was so clutch last year in the playoffs against Michigan to reach the title game. Darius Victor has had a solid afternoon, but Lakeem Williams is there to make the stop. Williams chased down Carson Wells. Watch out. Third and nine. Karen, so cool. Jacor Pearson coming over from the Seattle Sea Dragons. Happy to have him here in the dome. Ball pops out, but he was down. And then they flood the middle of the field and settle in the zone, the voids. We'll always love Harry Douglas. Sailors with another carry, shaking, baking. Uh oh! Jacob Sailors! Sailors, he's going to follow the lead of his H-back, who does a great job coming up through the gap. And then it's Sailors doing the rest, securing the football. Karen, he's had great presence all afternoon. Corner of the end zone! On the money! Peasy! Making up for that fumble on the previous series, but this is all A.J. McCarron's presence. And moreover, it's the five starters back from a year ago in the offensive line, allowing him to move around, survey the field. Now urgency really matters. That's not going to help the cause. Travis Feeney. Williams, high throw, great hand. Big time catch by D. Anderson. Some armored shoulder pads and football in the loop. Two minutes for A.J. McCarron and company to close this one out. And win their third straight game after opening up the year with a loss. He completes 35 passes, right? That's his bread and butter. That's the most in the UFL this season. Jacob Sailors had the 57-yard run, the longest in the UFL. That really iced this game. And Sailors joining Durant as the only 100
100-yard rushers in the UFL. 